Hello friends, warm welcome to Uday Patil's scaffolding channel. This is Uday Patil from Uday Structurals and Engineers, Mumbai. Today I'm going to tell you how we build the steel structure on the top crown portion of the ATC tower at Delhi International Airport Terminal T3. This work was carried out for Larson and Tubro, our main client, for GMR Airports, New Delhi. This was a beautiful piece of proper design, fabrication, planning, and erection at site. It was almost flawless. What you're seeing now is the puja we carried out prior to the start of the erection. And let me tell you, that the entire double deck, double platform work, which we carried out at 101 meter elevation, as well as 116 meter elevation, the second platform, it was done in a near perfect, flawless manner. This is the view from the first truss we put up of the International Airport Terminal T3. And this view is of the double deck which was nearly complete. In the coming few moments you will also hear and watch the interview which was taken by the National Geographic Night Geo television crew at the ATC Tower site in November 2015 at New Delhi wherein they have discussed with me how we completed the work, how we erected the trusses and what challenges we faced. I think you will enjoy it and it will be very informative for you. Thank you, Nigeria. ATC Tower at Mumbai Airport. So this particular ATC Tower has a very difficult structure because of which uh, it makes it very difficult to give access. As you can see uh, on this structure, this structure is a very slender tall tower of about 100 meter height. And if you see the top portion of this tower, uh, there is a conical, a conical uh, structure which, which is tapering inside. Now, the access uh, cannot be given on the structure unless and until we have a support system uh, from the periphery or from the walls of this tower. As you can see, there is a very high wind blowing at this moment. Uh, the truss which is being erected at this point of time is also moving very, uh, you know, very violent. And because of the top speed which reaches sometimes uh, even 20 kilometers per hour, it makes it very difficult to install such kind of structures where uh, external access or external support system is not available on the face of this frequency tower. So, we have designed the system keeping in mind all these constraints and uh, we have designed it in a way that it can be installed very easily with the tower frame. There was an uh, issue of uh, visibility to the tower crane operator because this uh, tower crane is on the outer side of the ATC tower and uh, he has no access or he can't see what is going on on the other face of the ATC tower. And the maximum work, almost about three quarters of the work which is being done, he has no access or he can't see it. And therefore it was very difficult considering the safety aspects. We have designed it keeping all the safety parameters and when in, during the initial discussion with LNT, when contractors and the GMR, um, we understood the uh, problems uh, and the sequence of the uh, glass fixing. And we had to suspend the two trusses uh, on the uh, slab, underside of the slab, which was a very unique concept because normally the trusses are anchored onto the walls, but here there was no wall. And the main frames, these main four frames uh, which, were, which are being installed now, they are the main supporting structure for all these uh, peripheral uh, smaller trusses. And we are going to take the support of these main four trusses to support the, all the other balance uh, trusses which will be going around the periphery. So we have designed uh, this, uh, these trusses for the wind load of 120 km per hour. The platform is designed for that. It will be having four main trusses and periphery uh, will be having 80 trusses around the entire ATC tower. 
this uh, uh, design has also been done uh, uh, by us and uh, my colleague. Uh, Hope you like this video. Kindly like, subscribe and share it so that others also will get benefited. Thank you very much again for watching and thank you especially Night Geo channel. Thank you from Uday Structures and Engineers, Mumbai, India.